Hello. In this video, I will explain how to make the copies of part. Uh, so, at the beginning, I load the project that was uh, prepared in the previous version of Sprutcam. It has the machining sequence for one part. And I would like to multiply these parts. Uh, first of all, I need to add the part and because I already have the parts, all the existing operation will be included into this part. So right now we have a part that has this section of this operation. And uh, after that, after that, I can, for example, move the part to the place I would like. Okay. The next, I can create the copy of part. So, almost nothing changed. We can see the new origin, G55. And we need to move the part. So, we have it. And again, I can add another copy. Another copy and also move it. Okay. So I have different G54, G55, G56. Uh, so to make the calculation faster, I would like to make the tool pass shorter. And uh, okay. That's all. And I can recalculate the toolpath. So the calculation of the first part need the time for the calculation. But the copies will be calculated very, very fast because it just takes the toolpath from the prototype and locate it in one origin. So at the moment we calculated the VAUT links. So and we have free operation. And uh, I can check, switch on the reordering or sequencing mode. And I can see that the tool number one, it just roughing, after that finishing, and after that rest machining. And I would like, for example, to link, it builds the tool change and the links between the parts or for example I can unlink then it will be just deleted or link again and these lines between the operation mean that means that the links are calculated so if I go to simulation I need to reset the work pieces so we have three parts and run the simulation everything works Okay, I think you already saw this many times. And we can check the links between and the next the next thing I would like to demonstrate. So right now these these parts uh, tool pass is expanded and I can change for example part copying method and set that I would like to use the subroutines subroutines it means that the right now we will call maybe receipt uh, okay to be sure recalculate everything okay forget mm -hmm and click the post process select for example final post processor run and what we can see here right now the roughing waterline g54 call subroutine g55 call subroutine g56 call subroutine and same okay uh, one thing more one thing more 
so right now the copies are always synchronized with the main part. If I create, for example, new any operation, for example, to be contouring, this operation will be added to every to the prototype and to the copies. If I delete it, for example, if I delete it, it will be deleted from the copies also because it is copies. If I change the order of the operation, the order will be also copied. And I can delete any copy. So right now you understand what is the part and what is the copy of part. Thank you very much for your attention.